guys, it's Cauliflower and welcome to a little bit of a different video today. Welcome to the products that I discovered in 2016, which basically just means all of the product brands that I discovered over the course of the last 12 months of this year. So that could pretty much mean something that is new to me or new on the market or something new I tried this year, but I thought it would be kind of an interesting um, toss up instead of just doing favorites videos to talk about brands that we discovered in the year of 2016. And um, yeah, so let's see how we go. So first thing I'm going to knock out is hair products that I discovered for the month of, not the month, the year of 2016. Now, I want to start with this company, that, which actually, uh, late in 2015, I kind of started using their products, but their products really started to become a staple in my uh, regime uh, as of 2016 because I was using something that I replaced a uh, product by Living Proof, which is the InStyle Extender, and I started to use this company's version of that and then I started to also use other things in their line and it is the Not Your Mother's line which is something that I love for various various reasons one of them being that they're sulfate paraben free they're vegan friendly all of those lovely things the other is that they're very affordable and the other is that they work really really well compared to more of the higher end brands that you see in Ulta, Sephora, even at the drugstores. And I love their packaging. Everything is really brightly colored. It's either in green and white, purple and white, pink and white, red and white, what have you, depending on the line, what kind of hair you have, what kind of hair type you have. They break everything down for your hair type, so every bottle color means a different hair type. This um, product that I'm holding up now is the Clean Freak line and this is the cleansing conditioner. I also have the Clean Freak shampoo and conditioner, the regular ones. And then of course I have their uh, uh, style extender which smells like apples. I love it. It retails for about $7.99 on Ulta and it has replaced my living proof as one of my favorite um, prime extenders, I, I mean hair extenders. Um, so definitely this would be one of the key brands that I discovered more or less in 2016. Another hair company that I just started to try out in 2016 is a brand that I think is relatively new to us here in the States, although they might have been around a long time. But for me, I just discovered them this year, and it is Schwarzkopf. And um, thanks to Nikki Murphy, who actually uh, led me to try their uh, hair color. This is the keratin color, the anti-age hair color that I use. And this stuff retails for about $9.99, but of course, me who coupons, I get it for a lot cheaper. I have fallen in love with this brand of hair color. I have it in my hair as we speak. Um, this is the keratin formula of it, the anti-age formula of it. You get such rich, dark tones. Your hair feels great. It smells great. The color lasts a lot longer. It looks like a salon coloring instead of just a regular at-home um, in the box coloring. Like I said, it retails for about $9.99. You can get this everywhere. I know Walmart carries it, but now my drugstores carry it at CVS, Rite Aid, Ulta, what have you. And I've been loving their hair color as well as this baby right here. This is their Ultim Omega Repair 11-in-1 Leave-In. Now, me being a product reviewer, I review a lot of leave-in products, and it just, a lot of them just don't make the cut. This one absolutely does. This not only smells great, but it makes my hair feel so smooth, and I use this right before I either ha uh, blow dry my hair or flat iron my hair, and it just seals in the shine, seals in the sheen, and makes my hair look and feel great and smell great. So this line is definitely a brand that I loved uh, this year for 2016, hair product-wise. All right, the next product I want to talk about is something from my review line. You guys know that I review products for Amazon or did review products for Amazon. I have discovered this company mostly this year, and that is Pure Body Naturals for so many different products. But the main one that I've loved most this year is their Argon Oil Therapeutic Shampoo, which hands down has saved my hair. This is something that I use in between my regular shampoos. It's more like a clarifying shampoo in my, in my um, opinion. 
It has 100% pure argan oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, has all the all natural oils that are great for your hair, stimulates your scalp, keeps your color, keeps your hair really refreshed and clean. You get a thorough, thorough clean without stripping your hair. Um, it's about nine to $10 a bottle if you order it off of Amazon, of course. Me being a product reviewer, I've gotten it for a lot less than that at a discounted price, but this has been one of the finds of this year that I have so, so fallen in love with, and um, I definitely would recommend if you've never tried them before, try their hair line, even try their body line. They make great scrubs and masks and that thing, and that kind of thing. So another product brand that I have found this year that is the bomb de gate. All right, and the last hair company or hair product that I started to really indulge in this year for 2016 is a really weird product, but you'll understand what I mean. This is from EverPro. This is called Gray Away. Now, I remember when I got this sent to me, I think it was through Brandbacker or one of those companies for review. I didn't know what to think of it because, quite frankly, what this is is a magnetic powder that you put in your hair that takes away all of your grays. And I'm thinking, oh great, it's gonna be one of those things that you'll, you're gonna notice is in your hair. It's gonna be messy to use. I couldn't have been more wrong. So here's what it looks like. You get the applicator from the bottom that you pull off here, and then from the top you have the actual product, which is the color of your hair. I think it only comes in a few shades, which is the only thing I don't like about EverPro. They kind of like mix the shades together. So I have the black dark brown but there's not like a medium there's only black dark brown and then they have the lighter shades for like blonde hair this is the applicator all you do is take the product you dip into here which to me it looks like an eyeshadow and then you run it across your roots and literally guys I can actually show it to you I'm actually gonna show it to you it literally sorry of course I don't want to get it on my forehead but it literally takes away the gray like it just adheres to the gray and it takes it away you just blend it in and then you are good it's so great it's non-noticeable it doesn't make your hair sticky it doesn't make your hair um uh anything of that nature i was very very surprised that i liked a product like this because i figured it was gimmicky and it wasn't going to work but it actually really did work and it works very very well especially for us ladies that have dark hair and don't want to always have to do the in-between colorings this is perfect for that i think they now carry this in drugstores i think i've seen it at target at rite aid at cbs and i think it uh, values for about 12.99 or maybe less than that depending on what your store sells it for all right, let's move on to skincare because we all know that I try a lot of skincare, but the brands that I have been using the most and have loved this year, one brand in particular, is Valentia. You guys have known that I have raved about Valentia, especially their vitamin C serum, which is how it all started for me. But then their line opened up more this year and they released more things and more products. Um, one of them that I was really excited to get this year was their Pure Glow Brightening Moisturizer because this goes with their Pure Glow Vitamin C Serum, which I absolutely love and adore. The moisturizer works just as well. Um, they, what I love about Valenti is they look like a luxury brand, but they're not. They're quality ingredients. Your skin just loves what they offer for it, and everything about them is all natural and uh, wonderful for your skin. One of my favorite products this year outside of the vitamin C serum um, is the Rose Royal Hydrating Serum. I use this every single day before I put on makeup or before I put on my moisturizer. It smells so accurately like roses. It makes my skin feel really hydrated, really cool, and really, really ready for makeup. And then, of course, the other one is the True Glow Eye Cream, which they also released this year, which is absolutely fantastic for those times when you have uh, bags under your eyes or when your eyes are really dry. This is a great, great cream to use. So Valentia was definitely a brand that I found in 2016 that I really, really enjoy. Along with, this is more of a drugstore brand, and I know a lot of you probably have used them um, in the past. I just discovered them more or less this year, and it is the Derma E 
company, and they make everything dermatologically uh, made. Um, what they have that I've discovered that I really love is their microdermabrasion scrub. I love, love, love that stuff. That stuff is the bomb digate. I used to love the Dermalogica um, exfoliating rice cleanser, and this um, stuff reminds me of it so much. It is very, very fine micro beads and you just massage it on your skin and when you rinse that stuff off your skin is like it feels like squeaky glass it feels so so good and then I love their hydrating night cream as well this is something that I just tried for the first time this year so it's something brand new to me I'm sure Derma E has been on the market for a while um, everything is all natural there's no sense there's nothing to irritate your skin if you just want a company's um, skincare line that is not going to throw in all of the frills and the bells and the whistles of a bunch of different scents and you know things that you don't need you want a strict skincare that's going to take care of your skin the way it needs to be I would definitely recommend Derma E another great Derma E product is their firming eye lift this is a lifesaver especially before makeup if you happen to have tiny little uh, crow's feet or wrinkles or puffiness or what have you this is a lifesaver so that is definitely another company that I have fallen in love with this year for 2016 a brand new company to me that I discovered um, and was sent products to review was from DDF which is doctors dermatologic formula I have gotten their full line this is their advanced micro exfoliation cleanser I have a thing about cleansers with exfoliants I don't know I just prefer them I think I like to do just like uh, more or less cleaning I like to exfoliate at the same time instead of using separate products this has been a wonderful wonderful product for that I also have their night cream their day lotion and their under eye cream as well they are a really nice higher-end brand that I discovered and I would definitely recommend them along with um, Derma E. Here is the ultra light oil free moisturizer with sunscreen again when you use any kind of moisturizer inc the inclusion of sunscreen is important this is UVA UVB protection absorbs quickly fragrance free all of that wonderful stuff they are high up in price I think they value for about 45 to 50 dollars a product each but they are worth it if you are looking for that type of skincare all right now let's just move on to makeup because that's basically all we have left here. Oh, actually, that's not true. I have one more thing for skincare, and then we'll move on to some makeup items that I have found brand wise this year. So, two major under eye products that I have done reviews on my channel this year for. Um, one of them was the Dynamite Instant Eye Lift. This stuff is pretty expensive. I think it was along the lines of $150. This comes in that little syringe, but this is an incredible, incredible product where basically you take the syringe and you dispense the product um, underneath your eye, you pat it in, and instantly you will see your uh, wrinkles or what have you go away like quickly. I have demonstrated it in a video, so if you guys are interested, you can see that on my channel as well. Like I said, it does... Um, it does value very high in price, but it definitely is something that works and is very effective. And um, I have used, I have tried this over makeup, under makeup. It's worked for me just fine. So that's another brand that I discovered, as well as another brand called Heaven's Heaven Eight. 81 Herald, Heaven 81 Herald, the H1 Amino Super Tox that I actually threw in my 5K giveaway this year because of how good this product really is. This is yet another under eye product. You dispense it like this, and this does exactly the same thing as the, um, as the dynamic one. I had to look at the name again. Although this one I like better because it's a little bit more emollient. It's something that you can put on prior to makeup. It's something that keeps your under eyes very smooth and almost like a primer for your under eyes. It is a wonderful, wonderful product, and I had no idea who they were before I got this sent to me. So that's another brand that I really uh, loved this year. All right, let's get to makeup. It's very few products 
brand wise that I could say I discovered in 2016 I'd like to say for the year of 2016 that I elaborated more on this particular company's products and that would be Jouer. Jouer has been something that I've heard of in the past and I've gotten like maybe a sample here or a sample there of products but I really dove in to their line in 2016 and it started with this baby right here, the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, which basically is one of my favorite foundations hands down, even though it is a moisturizing, um, it's a, a moisturizer, a matte moisturizer, but it more or less plays as a foundation, and it is just so dosh gone good. It looks so wonderful on my skin. It is flawless. Look at that. It easily blends, it blurs out imperfections, it's so nice, it lasts a long time. I love the way it looks on my skin. And Jouer, you know, they have a lot of, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of mixed feelings about Jouer, but as far as their foundation goes, I love them. I also uh, received two things from them during uh, Generation Beauty, which one of them I really do like, and it is their creme uh, tint with vitamin E. This could either be a lip product or a blush, and it smells really good. I love it. I love this. This is a very pretty blush. When I tried this on my cheeks, I was very, very impressed with that, and it feels so smooth, and it does not dissolve. Like most cream blushes, they dissolve after a while, except for Tarte. Tarte is my only favorite uh, high-end cream blush, but Jouer is now right up there because look at that. It's just so beautiful, and I love the colors that they offer, and I really would like to expand on using more of their products in the near future. So that is another brand that I discovered in 2016. Uh, two other ones, Eyewise, that I discovered in my BoxyCharm and BoxyCharm and Ipsy that I currently still use. I have been doing nothing but raving about this product. It is by a brand called Inspire and they inspired me this year because I use this brow product every single day. It has taken over for my BH Cosmetics brow pencil, taken over for my NYX and anything else I have tried this year. This stuff is so, so good and it's so easy to use and I love the way my eyebrows look every time I use it. And I've never heard of Inspire before. They just came to me in, I believe, my Ipsy last month, and I just love them. So that's one of the uh, brands I discovered, as well as this IBY Beauty, which came in BoxyCharm last month. This is just a three-color palette. Gorgeous. These three colors makes a whole eye look on my eyes. I have used this so many times. You'll probably see this in my November favorites because I've used this so much. I cannot believe the quality on these shadows. They are so, so good. I will swatch them for you. I mean, look at that. They are just buttery and pigmented and I love this gold right there. It is so shimmery and awesome on your eyelids. It looks beautiful. Like I said, you can create a simple, gorgeous, noticeable look with just these three colors. So I, B, Y, definitely a brand to look out for in the near future. All right, and the last brand I want to talk about is more or less a cheap brand. I have told you guys about this brand a few times um, on my uh, Shop Miss A hauls. It's actually Santi. I actually pulled out the clean color ones, but these are great too. But the ones that I want to talk to you guys about is from Santi, and they are featured on Shop Miss A. I've seen them on Amazon and other uh, websites, but mostly, I think it's uh, iCade House, I think they're on as well. Santi is such a great company for liquid lipsticks. I had no idea how good they were going to be. I ordered a bunch of them early on in the spring. I ordered them again later on uh, this fall or actually uh, late summer. And I cannot even tell you how impressed I am with this company or how good these liquid lipsticks are. They are so, so pigmented. They look beautiful on the lips. They're not drying whatsoever. I think they're a very underrated company. No one ever really talks about them. And like I said, I've bought a bunch of them now. 
right along with the clean color, which is just as good, but Santee has been the first ones that I did notice more or less uh, this year. Then Clean Color. Clean Color, I've used their nail polishes before, so it's kind of not like a new brand to me. But Santee is. I also ordered a foundation from them that's pretty decent. But what they're most memorable for this year is their liquid lipsticks. And you can find them on iKate House or Shop Miss A. All right, guys, that is it for my video on the brands that I discovered in 2016. I am going to leave a bunch of names of people down below. I would like to do this tag kind of favorites video. If you would like to do this video, please do so and let me know. And give me two thumbs up if you, in, well, one thumb up is enough, not two thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.